once again, the purpose of your of your speech was to being aware of of your thoughts and feelings as well as the impact of your responses on others and for the member to share your experience completing the project. So very honest speech as far as being a day late and a dollar short. Uh, one thing you do very well, Kareet, is you have excellent vocal, your, your diction is really good. Your speech pace is excellent. You don't talk too slow or too fast, it's just right. And, and you've perfected that over time, obviously doing a lot of speeches and jumping right in to Toastmasters for that reason. So excellent job there. So your speech pace was very good. What I also liked about your, your speech is that you had a list of three things, three separate topics, but they, they all related to the same issues that you had, your challenges that happened not of your own doing, but things that just happened to you that challenged you. So your first one was jump, you know, getting jumped in school and being bullied. And that hit home with me personally, as that happened to me also in school. It was a little different when I went to school and then in the 70s and 80s, there was there was there was no real discussion around that topic, you know, from a from a just a, a generic you know situation for, for bullying. The second one you talked about was failing a college class. And the third one was totally a car. And you had excellent descriptions of all three. The bullying, obviously, the challenges and getting through that, the, the failing a college class, and, and you ended up with a, a, a really good grade point average despite that. And that can that that's something that could sink your grade point average in a heartbeat. But having the resilience of having the other classes that you were involved in make up for that was really good also. And then also totaling a car and having a car wreck. And, and at the end of the, the day with your speech was, you, you came back to you know, when learning happens and, and the fact that you've learned from each one of those, you can end up with positive growth. And specifically, you mentioned some technical terms with Taekwondo, uh, Taekwondo and they were called close quarters techniques. And that really interested me. I'd never heard of that term before. And you went into getting a black belt and moving forward as, as opposed as a reaction for a, getting jumped in school and being able to defend yourself. And then you also talked about the, the challenges you, you had with moving through with getting to pay for the car and things like that. But what, as far as things to work on, what I would have liked to see in a little bit more were just basically two things. A little more vocal variety and emphasis when you have the challenge, maybe soften your voice a little bit or lower your voice a little bit and then raise it as you overcame it. And then as far as the details around the close quarters techniques, you, you, you mentioned it, you gave a little bit of a description of it, maybe some hand gestures, and I know it's hard to do in a virtual meeting, but maybe some more information on that I thought would have also helped your speech. But at the end of the day, it was, it was an excellent speech. And I would just say to kind of close out, you, you gave the three topics. I would have closed also with a quick description or repetition of the three topics, what to take away from each one of those. And as we say in Toastmasters, what you want to do is tell, tell, the, tell the audience what you're going to tell them and then tell them and then tell them what you told them it is a good way to, to do that. But really liked your speech a lot, a lot of great content in it, and I can't wait to hear more. Thank you. Thanks so much, Mike.